the world has so much to see. A huge crowd is excited to see them in 2023. Foreign travel amounted to almost 90% of pre-pandemic levels, and the US issued a record number of passports. Furthermore, you could likely claim that it was busier than ever if you traveled to any well-known location throughout the summer. Perhaps now is the time to consider destinations that are still relatively unexplored, seductive in the off-season, or usually disregarded in favor of their more populous neighboring cities. Perhaps it's time to visit destinations that are making travel simpler for visitors and that focus heavily on promoting sustainable tourism. In this guide, we will go best places to visit in the world in 2024. Be with us and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Number 1. Sumba, Indonesia. The Indonesian island of Sumba is a great choice for beachgoers who value sustainability and social responsibility. An hour's flight from Bali, Sumba's isolated villages, unspoiled woods, traditional customs, and world-class surf breaks make it the ideal getaway from the madness. Even if it isn't yet well known around the world, it is significant. Sumba is twice the size of Bali, covering an area of almost 10,000 square kilometers. Or more than 4,000 square miles. When the Nihi Sumba Resort originally opened in 2012, it was it that attracted the attention of affluent travelers to this island. Sumba has received many new luxury eco-resorts after more than 10 years. Among these is the Sanyabari. A collection of villas on the beach that debuted in 2022. In light of such factors, CNN Travel selected 24 locations for you to think about while making travel plans for 2024. Number 2. Tangier, Morocco. Tangier has distinguished itself from other Moroccan cities for a long time with a skyline that looks like a handful of dice thrown randomly on the cliffside. Throughout the 20th century, several foreign nations, notably Spain and Italy, were in charge of running it. It attracted authors and artists from America and Europe, bringing with it a cosmopolitan atmosphere that endures to this day. But the northernmost city of Morocco has re-established ties to its homeland within the last five years. The first high-speed train route in Africa connected Tangier and Casablanca in 2018. Now, the trip takes two hours. It was a component of a larger infrastructure project aimed at supporting the area. It's a good thing that more upscale accommodations are opening up, including the 133-room Fairmont Tatsi Palace and the exclusive Villa Mabruka. Number 3. Hutchinson Island, Florida. Hutchinson Island offers a glimpse into the past of Florida, a time when the shoreline was dotted with opulent estates and posh beach clubs. Every menu item on this casual barrier island, which is located around one hour north of West Palm Beach, has a catch of the day. You may arrive for supper wearing flip-flops and sandy feet. One of the biggest places for loggerhead turtle hatching, the region has seen very little development on the island. Most of the coastal properties are low-rise condominiums or undeveloped acreage set well back from the shoreline. It's a unique experience that you shouldn't miss because it's one of the few locations in Florida where you can ride a horse on the beach. One of the things that makes Hutchinson Island so charming is that there's not a lot of chain anything around. However, the expansive Marriott Hutchinson Island Beach Resort, Golf and Amp, Marina, whose accommodations start at 32,000 Marriott Bonvoy points per night, is located at the southernmost part of the island. Additionally, a select few boutique hotels on the island may be reserved using flexible rewards, such as those obtained with cards that yield city thank you points, Chase Ultimate Rewards, or American Express Membership Rewards. Number 4. Weifang, China Thanks to its tens of thousands of visitors each year during its International Kite Festival in April and the Weifang World Kite Museum, which houses five exhibition halls dedicated to showcasing the art and history of kites. This eastern Chinese city sandwiched between Beijing and Shanghai is frequently referred to as the kite capital of the world. However, Weifang strives to preserve all of its cultural legacy. Emphasizing customs that have made the city, a UNESCO creative city of crafts and folk art in 2021 and an East Asian culture city in 2024. Number 5. Valencia, Spain. 
Valencia, a 2,150-year-old city on Spain's east coast, was selected as the European Green Capital 2024 after meeting the requirements in 12 different areas, such as energy efficiency, noise reduction, nature and biodiversity, and air quality. Take a walk around the old town and the city center to witness this in action. Valencia Cathedral is located there, and it is rumored that it holds the Holy Grail. Walk through Turia Garden, which spans over six miles of greenery on a former riverbed and is linked by bridges that date back many centuries. 125 kilometers of bike lanes provide cyclists with views of the city. Number 6. Detroit, Michigan One example of how everything old is new again in this city is Detroit's Michigan Central a Beaux-Arts former rail station that has been repurposed into a transportation art and amp winking and laughing center with retail, eating, and communal spaces. A $65 million renovation project that will feature interactive displays and performance venues. And a music education center is scheduled to be implemented at the Motown Museum throughout 2024. The stylish Cambria Hotel is the most recent in a series of historic buildings transformed into boutique hotels. It is housed in a 1936 radio transmitting structure designed by renowned Detroit architect Albert Kahn. In 2024, a 48th floor observation deck will open on the site of the 1927 Hudson store, where a new glass and steel tower already stands. Number 7. Singapore. Since gaining independence in 1965, Singapore has never ceased pushing itself to become more contemporary. The international city-state is now changing due to a rise in upscale hotels. It is already well known for its food, architecture, and top-notch airport. The standard is scheduled to open later this year. In addition, a 204-room establishment in the Orchard Road section of downtown recently opened. Notable lodging establishments like the Grand Hyatt and Mandarin Oriental, which shut down for extensive refurbishments in the past, will reopen. Major expansions have also been made to Changi Airport. With the addition of new automated check-in kiosks, baggage drop areas, and immigration lanes, Terminal 2 reopened in full in November, more than tripling its annual passenger capacity to 28 million. Number 8. Geneva, Switzerland With more than 40% of its population originating from outside Switzerland, Geneva is the most international city in Europe and the second largest city in Switzerland after Zurich. The primary sectors include technology, finance, tourism, and non-governmental and intergovernmental administration. Geneva takes great pleasure in being among the world's most exquisite and sophisticated towns, fusing the natural wonders of the globe with an abundance of historical and architectural options. For those who enjoy being outside all year round, the city serves as a main entry point to the Alps. Geneva is home to within 130 hotels, ranging in style from opulent five-star complexes to budget hostels. The majority of hotels are conveniently located near shopping, dining, and main attractions on foot. Over 4,000 years of history have shaped Geneva and continue to have an impact on the city's current growth. Geneva's various museums, landmarks, and architectural gems all serve as reminders of the city's past. Number 9. Luxor, Egypt, a living open-air museum It may interest you to know that one of the oldest towns on Earth is also among the top destinations to visit in 2024. Luxor, Egypt, an ancient city that dates back around 4,200 years, has been called a living, breathing outdoor museum. It was the capital city, Thebes, in the era of ancient Egypt. It is the location of some of the most well-known ancient ruins in Egypt. Luxor, which lies by the Nile River, is a stop on a number of our itineraries across Egypt. With the assistance of a trained Egyptologist who can lead you around the Luxor Temple and the Karnak Temple Complex, visiting one of the top vacation destinations for 2024 is enhanced even further. You'll pass obelisks, and walls covered with hieroglyphics, and you must visit the Abu Haggag Mosque en route, followed by some free time for exploration. Number 10. Dubai, a city that is extravagant, opulent, and vibrant all at once, is still rising to great heights in the global arena. Dubai, 
often referred to as the Vegas of Arabia by the global public, takes great satisfaction in appending all preconceived notions about the Middle East. Renowned for its extravagant constructions such as the Palm Jumeirah, which is home to Atlantis, the Palm, and the world's tallest structure, the Burj Khalifa, which gained notoriety through Tom Cruise, the city has, throughout the years, turned shattering world records into a national obsession, tallest, longest, fastest, largest. Consider it, the city has most likely already done it. Filled with endless malls, aquariums, indoor ski slopes, dancing fountains, fantasy theme parks, and disnified water playgrounds that pay tribute to Hollywood, Bollywood, Marvel, and Lego, as well as several family-friendly resorts, it's understandable why it ranks in our attractions section. Number 11. Istanbul, Turkey The Istanbul Museum of Modern Art, designed by Renzo Piano, and the Lataport, the first subterranean cruise ship terminal in the world with a pedestrian promenade, are two factors contributing to the revitalization of Turkey's style capital along the Bosphorus. The 177-room Peninsula Hotel, located over four buildings, three of which are from the early 1900s, is another landmark in the neighborhood. Highlights include a rooftop restaurant called Galeta by was kid chef Fadi Tutak, whose eponymous restaurant is the first in Turkey to get two Michelin stars, a spacious subterranean spa, and a dazzling pool facing the Hagia Sophia. The designer Arzu Kaprol, who owns a store in the adjacent Paket Postanisi, a former post office converted into a stylish retail center, provided the hotel workers with their elegant uniforms. In this video, we reviewed the top travel destinations of 2024, we ventured across continents, explored hidden gems, and marveled at the wonders of the world, both man-made and natural. These destinations offer a blend of adventure, tranquility, and cultural enrichment. As we've seen, each place has its unique allure, promising unforgettable experiences for every type of traveler. Whether you're seeking solace in nature, the thrill of adventure, or a deep dive into cultural heritage, the world is brimming with places waiting to be explored. Remember, traveling is not just about the destinations, it's about the memories you create and the horizons you expand. So pack your bags, set your sights on new experiences, and let the world surprise you in 2024. Safe travels, and may your adventures be many and your experiences rich. Thank you for joining us on this global journey, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.